All right, so what do you use an edge finder for? Well, let's look at this. This is a little sketch I did on my dry erase board. Let's say we have a block of steel here, and uh, somebody wants you to put a hole in this block of steel, and they're saying that they want it to be three inches from this edge to here. I'm doing this backwards, so it's a little more difficult. To the center line, and two inches from this edge to the center line. Well, that's where the edge finder comes in. How do you really know if you're exactly two inches from here to this edge and three inches from this edge to the center line? And that's what we're going to use the edge finder for, to pick up this edge and this edge with our edge finder. So I'll show you a real live uh, demonstration of how an edge finder works. So here is how to use an edge finder. This is a Starrett edge finder. It's running at about a thousand RPM. I'm slowly going to move my machine, the head of the machine over until I touch the side of the piece. And I'll know when I touch the side of the piece when the edge finder jumps off center. Right. There we go. Back it off one more time. And when it jumps, you are on the edge. We'll go up to our digital readout here. And zero. That's the X. Then we'll come back here. And if we move over. One hundred thousandths. Now we are right over the edge. The edge finder is two hundred thousandths in diameter. If we move over half, we are perfectly centered over the edge of that part. And that's how you do it.